First Alert Weather with Brian Allworth is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. So it's nice to see a little sunshine back after uh, kind of a mostly cloudy, dreary weekend, but man, some gusty winds out there. As I said earlier, this is our most wind chilly day of the season so far, to coin a phrase there. And yeah, it's pretty cold, although we're not going to set any records or anything. Mid 30s up at Mount Vernon, and uh, as you go south, it's a little less cold. 46 right now at Kennett, 45 at Poplar Bluff. But still some winds gusting to over 20 and 30 miles an hour at times. And so uh, the wind chill, for example, the Cape Toronto Airport is 35, but some areas still seeing wind chills currently in the 20s. And I did say sunshine, but uh, we're right at the edge of the clouds. We've had some clouds coming through. Looks like it may be mostly cloudy right now up east of Mount Vernon along 64. And you don't have to get too far east of here before you run into snow showers and some really strong winds up into central Indiana. Looks like around Cincinnati, some snow showers and flurries even east into Kentucky. It's a little more wintry than it is here, so we're actually not doing that badly by comparison. At least it's mainly sunny for most of us and the winds will die down this evening and uh, the rest of the week should be much less windy. But obviously look at all the wind arrows on our future cast by this evening, though uh, the winds are dying down and by tomorrow morning. It's probably going to be mostly calm, which means pretty cold and frosty tomorrow morning. Could be the coldest morning of the season so far, officially anyway, tomorrow. And then tomorrow during the day, the sun is back, at least until late in the day when some high clouds drift in. But you don't see the wind arrows tomorrow, so that means much less windy, hopefully, tomorrow. For today, gusty northwest winds gradually dying down toward late afternoon and evening. Official highs upper 30s at Mount Vernon, mid to even upper 40s in our southwestern counties. For tonight, clear, cold and frosty teens and 20s for lows tomorrow morning, including even in the boot heel. So how about the rest of the week? First of all, tomorrow will be pretty chilly, mostly sunny, maybe some afternoon clouds, but much less breezy. By Wednesday, we're back at least into the low 50s after a cold start by Thursday, mid 50s. And then, yeah, this is our pattern shift that I mentioned at the start of the show. By the end of the week, we're back into a southwest flow, which means what? More moisture, more clouds and increasing chance of showers. Right now, it looks like we're going to have periods of rain or rain showers from maybe late Friday through Saturday, Sunday, maybe into Monday. Now, this does it, it kind of looks like it's going to rain for four days in a row. That's not that's not exactly what this means, but what it does mean is that each day has a pretty good chance of at least a little rain somewhere. So looks like we may get into not so much a, a, a white Christmas pattern, but maybe a wet Christmas pattern by the upcoming weekend and early next week.